guys, my name is Salta and on this channel I share a lot of information about Kazakhstan. What Kazakh people really think about Bora too. But currently I moved to New York, um, the United States to study. And I'm gonna share with you some things that shocked me once, like I'm already here for two months now. Um, and there are quite a few things that shocked me and it like I would usually compare that to my life in Kazakhstan. So let's begin. First the first things first, the cockroaches, okay? I mean we do have cockroaches in Kazakhstan and they're usually like, you know, a raisin. They're very small. But here they're like they're about like two inches. They're or two I'm not sure. But they're huge and black and sometimes they can fly. I was like, oh my god, this is so scary. So, and I even saw one in the apartments that I was moving in, like back and forth. Well, in, in one of the apartments that I lived for six days, um, but it was dead. So, and then the other day I saw a rat, which was also pretty big. They are kind of like, sometimes they get to the size of a cat. But I mean, I wasn't as shocked, I guess. It, I was shocked by the size of cockroaches, so that's for sure. And that does freak me out a little bit. Moving on, let's talk about the prices. I mean, after pandemic, apparently everything went even more expensive. Like New York is one of the most expensive cities in the world, but it went even worse, especially with the rent. I mean, when I was looking for apartments, I didn't know the areas which were safe or not. So I decided to stay in Manhattan. And I was looking for one bedrooms first and like they were at least 3,500. Uh, 20, 2800 in the East Village so I decided to just like rent a room um, in in an apartment with like roommates and stuff so um, yeah the rent was like is so expensive like I mean I pay um, double the price that I paid for a full-on like one bedroom apartment in Kazakhstan that I had a tour of in, in here that you might see it's like a prime location, you know, amazing views, like, you know, it's also like a thousand dollars and now I'm paying even more for just a room in Manhattan, obviously, like, twice the price, probably. So, and then when it comes to eating out, I mean, I'm used to eating out and I don't usually cook, but here I started to cook because everything is so expensive, like, you go somewhere to eat and it's at least thirty dollars and especially the tips. The part about tips, when you are supposed to give tips anywhere, anytime, I mean, I don't mind it when you're, when you have money, but like when you're on a budget, sometimes it's like a little bit, you know, hard to do because, you know, I'm a student, I don't make extra money and I'm trying to like live off of the budget that I have saved. So um, sometimes like you eat for one price and then you pay you end up paying double for just the tips or something like that so the tips and also the tips when you are not really served uh, when you just like pick up a coffee or something they like you pay tips everywhere and that's you give tips everywhere i mean of course you could not do that but i feel bad if i don't and then for taxi oh my god in new york i spent a hundred dollars to get from newark um airport to get to manhattan i i spend there's always like sometimes I, I pay like $35 to get somewhere and it's just like why is it so expensive? <laughs> next, next I was really surprised that subway works practically 24-7 which doesn't happen in Kazakhstan usually like the latest buses and subways they work till like 11 p.m. ish but here you can like easily which was really nice because like sometimes I'm in a, in a bar like you know somewhere further away where I can take the subway and like I'll be back at like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning and I can still take the subway. I mean of course I try not to but sometimes I do and it's not that bad and it's sometimes it's nice when you're like not that far, you're in Manhattan, I mean it's relatively safe so that was like a huge um, you know surprising point for me. Um, this one might not be as surprising for me. Obviously, New York is very fast-paced, but you know when you see it firsthand that people are always in a rush. People never have time, and like even when you order something, like you can order coffee in advance, you can order some drinks in advance, and like just stop by, pick it up, and leave. It kind of gives that. I don't know if that 
that's the same in different countries, but in different cities in, 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 in the U.S., but here it's like so popular, you just like download all the apps, like, you know, Blue Bottle, Joe and the Juice, and Nuda, you order in advance and like you don't want to waste time. So that was very surprising to learn. Next point is actually something that I'm surprised and relieved with because people are a little more, um, are a little less nice here. I mean, they're they're not rude, but they're not also like very smiley and welcoming. So that also is similar to Kazakhstan, where people don't like really talk to you in the elevator. They don't have really small talks everywhere. I mean, people are nice. I mean, if you talk to them, they will get better. Like they will reply, but. In general, you don't have to be extra nice to everyone. Like sometimes, I mean, I have to force myself my resting bitch face. You know, it's like um, sometimes I don't want to talk to people, and it's it's nice that you know you just like you don't, and nobody bothers you, and it's it's nice to me at least. It's like a little more real, you know. Next point is also something that I would compare to Kazakhstan is that I was used to being always like observed by some like someone else like when you go out to the streets you always are aware that people are looking at you people are staring especially like if you're wearing something revealing people would actually uh, judge you sometimes and uh, I would never wear like sh mini skirts or like you know very revealing because I would feel like the looks and the judgments from people around but here nobody cares especially at night if, if I'm like walking by myself at 2 a.m. Um, in like in a mini skirt with heels nobody really cares I mean they can like slightly look over what you're doing and wearing but nobody cares because, especially because there's so many crazy people on the streets and I'm not scared of them I mean I was surprised how many like crazy you know addicted probably like drug addicted or you know I don't know who, what, what those are but there's a lot of them them in the city and everywhere and like in the subway especially but I mean they usually are like by themselves they don't really bother I mean sometimes they do and you're no like you're never you never know what they're gonna do but in general they just like are high or whatever and like they don't care about everyone else they're doing their crazy things by themselves so Next one, which was also very surprising, like I would never drink tap water in Kazakhstan just like that. So I would usually, we would usually like install some filters or we would like order some kind of filtered water. But here, um, I mean, you still sometimes use some filters like Brita filters or whatever, but in general, like you can still drink water from the, from the tap and it's pretty clean, it's not bad. And like you serve that water everywhere in the restaurants and you know, that was very surprising because I just couldn't do that in Kazakhstan. Next point that also surprised me is that I saw a lot of like USB plugs everywhere, like in the buses and in the subway sometimes. Well, mostly in like the buses, um, somewhere in like public areas, common areas, lounges. I always see those USB plugs, which is, all, which is nice, but like I would never have uh, that type of charger anymore. <laughs> and last but not least is uh, the fact that I mean I knew New York is a busy city and I really wanted it to be to be busy. I, I like this energy. I like being busy. I like that it's like fast-paced. There's so much going on. There's so many things here and that didn't surprise me but like to not actually have time to meet with people to be a little bit like flexible it's apparently it's it's difficult like the, the fact that you have to like you know uh, schedule meetings with people in like three weeks in advance four weeks in advance you're like oh i mean i kind of hate planning like too far in advance i don't like living by a plan i mean i i like being spontaneous and this part is like very surprising because you can't do much about it because like people plan in advance and like you're always busy you never have time like i witness that myself that you don't have time for anything basically i mean obviously like i need to learn maybe to manage my time better and that did affect the youtube channel that i have but um i'm genu genuinely surprised that it is actually an issue and i need to learn how to manage my time here a little better so yeah that was everything that i wanted to share about new york and my life in the u.s and yeah let me know if you have any ideas for me to make videos of I will talk about 
you know, Kazakhstan more. I will show you my life here too. So maybe if you have any specific requests, feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my other one. Bye guys.